Good morning and welcome to more Pokemon Crystal. Uh, today we're back here in Goldenrod once more uh, because it is Saturday, which means I can get a new move. So let's go ahead and get a new move. It'll cost the rest of the coins I have, but that's kind of whatever. And we're going to get Flamethrower this time. And weirdly enough, Sesso can learn Flamethrower, and I really actually do want to give it to her, uh, but not right away. So we're going to give it to Kit first, uh, because Kit will naturally learn Flamethrower, but not until like level 65. And frankly, we probably won't even get Kit to level 65 by the end of the game. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get rid of Flamethrower for, well, we'll get rid of Fire Punch for Flamethrower. There we go. And we get Flamethrower. Perfect. Alright, cool. And he's gonna go gamble away all my coins. As you do. Now, I did trade a bunch more items up uh, so that I can get more coins, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, for now, we should take the Magnet Train back over. And, oh, Max Train is below me. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Uh, before we do that, because I always forget to do this, and it will be very, very helpful when I'm actually trying to catch all the legendary beasts, we're gonna go get a new ball from Kurt. Uh, really, I'm only interested in the fast balls because I can use the Master Ball on one of the two remaining legendary beasts. But that last one, I'm gonna have to just power through like any other Pokemon, and it's gonna be a pain. And fastballs are like one of the most effective things to try and catch those guys with. So I'm just gonna keep plowing in fastballs. Now I have realized that like a lot of the floor textures, uh, I'm not sure if it's just with the way the capture software is or with the uh, new upscaler, but I've noticed that a lot of floor textures, like uh, in the Pokemon Center and in other places, look really bad on the footage. Like, ugh. Uh, so I am sorry about that. But honestly, the upscaler fixed so many things. And if it's not an upscaler issue and it's just a recording software issue, then there's literally nothing I can do about it. Art. So, unfortunately, I think that's just the way it is. I think that's just the way it's gonna be. Did I ever actually beat Misty? I don't think I did. Yeah, we had to do a whole bunch of things to get Misty to actually go to her freaking gym. But now she's here, so we can actually just go beat her. Um, I need to re-equip my items real quick, and I'm going to make sure that Lady Wu has the amulet coin. Not the magnet, darn it. Alright, everyone is all equipped, so let's go work on the water gym. We've got a bunch of trainers we can fight here, get a little bit of experience. Uh, I think this is really the only place where Lady Wu is going to be very, very useful. Like, she's always fairly useful, but I think this is the only place where I definitely want her to be at the forefront, so even if she gets to level 50 here, I mean, that wouldn't be great, but it would be acceptable. Um, which one is select? That one's select. Let's put Thunderbolt as the first move. I like that a little bit better than using Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is good. I like Thunder Wave. Uh, it's honestly not a bad opener, but Lady Wu's just gonna be able to destroy all of these guys with a single Thunderbolt. Might not have been able to do it with a single spark, but we'll definitely be able to just wipe the floor with these guys using Thunderbolt. So, not concerned there. Yep, there goes another Sea King. Good amount of XP. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Got a little bit of money, not a lot. I do still have another tier of uh, stuff I need to get from uh, Mom, so I do need to keep saving money there. I do have a bunch of money with Mom at the moment. Um, 
But it was not enough to get the final doll that she can give me. And I want to get that final doll, so we're just gonna have to keep saving more. But that's okay. So I can just electrocute all of these horsey and all the rest of these water Pokemon thoroughly with Lady Wu. Honestly, I might have to uh, go back to the Pokemon Center just to get the power points back on Thunderbolt. Actually, no, I've got a ton of mystery berries. I'll just use those. I keep forgetting to go pick more. Which is, you know, really ironic because they're right outside of Goldenrod. Very easy to get. I just keep forgetting to do so. Oh, well. One more Thunderbolt should do it here. There we go. And we'll get Lady Wu to the 43. I don't think she learns any new moves that I care about at all. Like, for the rest of the game. Man, yeah, this is the real problem with swimmers. They barely give you any money. You know, honestly, as long as this person doesn't have, like, full six... Team, a full team of six Pokemon, I'm probably fine on the number of Thunderbolts I have left. Okay, yeah, she has one. I'm probably fine. Going out with a Golduck. Yeah, I've got ten Thunder... I'll have nine Thunderbolts for Misty. That's probably sufficient. Um, she might have a Wooper. If she has a Wooper, then I'll just use uh, Waterfall instead. But otherwise, I'm really not concerned. Like, if you have Thunderbolt, just like in just like in Gen 1, if you have Thunderbolt, this gym's kind of a pushover. <laughs> I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My Water-type Pokémon are tough. Yeah, I'm not really concerned. Misty did grow up a little bit, it's been three years, but two years? I'm not, I'm not really clear. Like, Sabrina said it was three years, I always thought this game took place two years after the original games, but maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Well, these guys are much more actually at my level, so they might survive a Thunderbolt. This Golduck didn't, though, so at least there's that. Get some really good XP for that. Alright, Quagsire. Alright, I had a feeling you probably had something like this. Let's go ahead and just switch to a Waterfall. It'll probably have Earthquake, which will really hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, Amnesia. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to switch over to Klungo. And I'm just going to... Punch it real hard. Yep, Earthquake. Alright, let's just use a Strength here. Smack him real hard. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Now, depending on what she sends back out, I'll probably just switch back. Lapras! Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to switch back to Lady Wu. Because uh, nothing this Lapras does will be super effective against Lady Wu. It won't even be very effective. Like this Blizzard, it's not going to be very effective. That would have really hurt Klungo. Because Klungo does not have very good special defense. But Lady Wu's going to be fine. Lady Wu has really good special defense. Well, fairly good. Lady Wu is very... Her stats are very average across the board. Um, there's not any one particular thing that she's really, really good at, but there's also nothing that she's particularly bad at, uh, including her health stat. Her health stat is actually very good. So it's... Lantern is a very well-rounded Pokemon, uh, but that does mean there's nothing they particularly excel at. Whereas, you know, Grand Bull is all about that physical... All right, Starmie, once again. Ah, it is faster, and it's going for Confuse Red. So this could be a little bit of a problem, but... 
We'll see if we get through it. Alright, I'm gonna hurt myself. Now, this thing will probably have Psychic. Oh, it's going for Surf. Psychic would have done more. So I don't know why you aren't using that. Starmie also tends to know things like Thunder. I think it can even learn Thunderbolt. Uh, we'll try it again. Like, I don't want Lady Wu to faint here if I can help it, but... We'll see if I can get it with this Thunderbolt. If not, I'll probably have to switch. Man! That Starmie really lucked out. Any one of those Thunderbolts would have really, really hurt, but uh, none of them worked. Alright. Well, unfortunately, Zog is not a dark type yet. Otherwise, that would be pretty good. Um, could just go to Sesso, who also wouldn't have anything particularly useful. Klungo would honestly be one of my stronger choices, but that Surf would really hurt Klungo. So I guess we'll go for Rouge. Now, the Surf will also hurt Rouge, but won't really hurt Rouge. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll use a Confuse Ray of my own. I can't attract it because it is genderless. Uh, so attract won't work on it. But I can get it to hurt itself and start flinching it, which is super effective uh, because Bite is dark type in Gen 2. Hey. All right, um, I'm actually just going to switch over to Fly, because I think that will overall do more damage. And where it is right now, one Fly will take it out. Even if it didn't hit itself there, one Fly would have taken it out. Now, the only risk there is if it had Thunder, it still could have hit me while I was flying. But it did, but it all worked, so. Oh, you really are good. I'll admit that you're skilled. Here you go, Cascade Badge. Cool. I received Cascade Badge. There are, are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean. I mean, yeah. Have you met Joey? Joey's a Joey's pretty good. One day I'm gonna travel, so I can battle some skilled trainers. Sounds like a good plan. And I miss the days that I could get Bubble Beam for beating her. Thunderbolt for beating What's-His-Face. But oh well. Alright, so I need to heal. I did not actually get as many levels as I was hoping in that gym, but that's okay, I guess. Um, and then I guess we need to go to Rock Tunnel. So let's heal up real quick. I don't believe we can fly over to Rock Tunnel, but I do want to try and hit up... Um, Lavender Town sooner rather than later. Uh, because as soon as... Lavender Town is kind of my gateway right now to be able to do two different in-game trades. Uh, so I want to try and do that earlier rather than later. But for now, I just gotta work my way back to Rock Tunnel, which is next to the Dark Cave, which we've already been at several times, so I'm not going to keep that on screen. Here we are, outside of Dark Tunnel. Oh, wait. There it is, outside of Dark Tunnel. So, or Rock Tunnel, I suppose I should say. Uh, and this is why I wanted to keep Flash. There are... Three dungeons where Flash is useful. Uh, well, I guess four total dungeons that make use of Flash in this entire game. And this is the second one. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I have Flash for here. Okay, get an X accuracy, sure. Uh, now this place is not terribly confusing. So even if you don't have Flash, it would probably be pretty easy to just get around using... Oh man, they're only a level 11. Uh, yeah, and unlike, because it's a tunnel, um, we can't just avoid grass or anything. I was kind of hoping they'd be a little, I don't know, stronger, worthwhile in fighting, but oh well. Um, the trainers in here should be okay to fight, though, if there are any. 
But yeah, this place is not terribly confusing. Um, so even if you don't have Flash, you could probably just follow a map online to get in and out of here. I think there might be one or two cool items, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep waterfalling these guys. I'm probably just going to start skipping all of the, uh, all of the fights outside of trainers in this place, because they're really not going to be worth it. Unless I go up a level, which I'll probably go up a level soon, but... No items? No items. Okay. I think if I had just continued uh, to the bottom left instead of going up, I would have pretty much gotten to the exit. Oh, Cubo! Cool! I think this is the first place we've been to that you could actually get a Cubo. Uh, I like Cubo. They're a fun Pokemon, but not particularly useful for me right now. Also, you know, Gen 1. Trying to use Gen 2 Pokemon because it's a Gen 2 game. Alright, well, here's a ladder. Is this actually how I got to the exit? Did I did I go the right way first? Ooh, more ladders, okay. Oh no, not a Zubat. Alright, let's go down here. Just kind of see what there is to see. Didn't... Wasn't I here before? Oh, well, here's an item, so... Right after I say this place isn't that big or confusing, I start getting myself confused. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> Alright, what's to the left over here? There's a way up. Isn't that what I took before? Ooh! Hey, buddy. All right, so you can get Kangaskhan here. So that's neat. Um, I don't think I need a Kangaskhan for anything. No trades or anything like that. He's just a really cool Pokemon. Or she, I suppose. But... Yeah, so there you go. If you if you want one of those guys, that was probably a rare spawn in this cave. Uh, that is something you can get here. What is up here? A battle. A battle is what's up here. Alright, do I have an item? Yeah. Little nooks like this are always suspicious. Oh. Apparently the item's a battle. With the uh, Machop. Alright. Sure, I guess. Alright, what is actually here? Yay, an X Defend. Alright, well, that's like another 150 bucks. Let's see. Okay, so this takes me to this item that I had saw, seen on the pedestal before, which is DM47, which I think is the most important thing that you're going to find here. So what is TM-47? Man, we've got a lot of TMs. Uh, Steel Wing. I mean, it is a Steel-type move. I think I could teach that to Rouge if I really wanted to. Um, but I'm not particularly interested. I think Rouge is the, of anyone, I think Rouge is the only one that could learn it. Yeah, she is. I mean, it's not a terrible move. It's, I think, 70 power, 90 accuracy, something like that. Maybe it's only 60 power. But, I mean, it's a steel type move, which is neat. Uh, steel is good against rock and ice. Um, so, it, it, kind of has a lot of the same uses as fighting, uh, and fighting type moves are not super available uh, in this generation. Or in Gen 1, really. Uh, fighting type is just, there's not a whole lot of fighting type moves, and there's definitely not a lot of fighting type Pokemon uh, in Gen 2. There's also not a whole lot of them in Gen 1 either, but uh, a lot of the Gen 2 ones are either like building off of Gen 1, or they just expect you to use a Gen 1 Pokemon if you want a Fighting-type in this generation. Um, 
So it's a little interesting, but... Alright, well, there were definitely ways I did not go in that cave, so maybe I'll go back and re-explore it again later. Uh, but we got the TM, which I think is the most important thing, so I'm really not that concerned. We do have this hiker, though. Hiker Jim. With Machamp! Hey, buddy. Alright, well, uh, good luck punching Lady Wu as she electrocutes you. Yeah, there we go. Get some good XP, and down goes Hyper Jim. Ha ha ha, Chew! Alright. Was there anything over here? Oh, there's this guy. There's this guy. You like Pokemon, don't you? Me too. Alright, buddy. Little, uh... Ah, Pokefan, okay. With a Quagsire! Alright, well, I don't think I want to fight you with Lady Wu. Actually, I don't think you'll have Earthquake yet. Well, we'll try Waterfall. Wow, that did more than I expected it to. Okay, yeah, one more Waterfall will do it. Um... Berry? Yeah, just a regular-ass berry. Alright, well... That doesn't really mean anything anymore. Uh, if you're gonna be using a... If you're gonna be healing a... Holding a healing berry, then you kinda have to be using a gold berry at these levels. Well, at least Pokefans give a lot of money, so I'm down with that. And that's just where we came up. Alright, cool. So we have made it to Lavender Town. And I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, in our next episode, we'll explore this creepy little place. Which is a little less creepy in this gym.